Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell's going on here? Why am I? It doesn't look like I'm streaming on the uh, video stream. It's like there's a problem on the video stream. Problem on the video stream. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh, all right, maybe here it comes. Here it comes. All right, video stream was uh, lagging and stopping and doing weird things there. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's, it's live uh, video radio here on the Freakers Ball on a Friday night. Hopefully we don't have that issue all night, but if we do, we do. Uh, we still got the audio stream going there for you, so uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know what happened there. Anyway, howdy, folks. Welcome, everybody, to the Freakers Ball right here live on a Friday night. April 17, 2020, and uh, we are live here with you tonight. We, I say we, I mean myself, Grimner, and the Mighty Moose Girl, who will be along shortly. Yes, indeed, she will, and we'll be having a good old time right here on the Figures Ball. Hopefully, with any luck, uh, the uh, stream will stay steady and going, because uh, I, I want it to stay steady and going. Yes, that's the way I like it. Moose Girl? Hello. Hello. How's it going? Oh, it's going well. How are you doing? Good. Good, good, good. Hang, well, hanging in there, you know. Yeah, well, uh, I'm like, what more can you ask? Right. <laughs> anyway, let me say hi and howdy to the folks we got out there around the around the interwebs. We got folks on realliberty.org and freedomsnetwork.com, <laughs> rlmradio.xyz. Uh, okay. real, real liberty real liberty real liberty media dot com and also uh over here on vaughn dot live slash real liberty media and uh tune in where else we at i don't know <laughs> you would know more than me <laughs> yeah all right so we're at all these places around the interwebs if you want the video it's either real liberty media dot com on the freakers ball show page or von dot live slash real liberty media if you want the audio stream just head on over to uh r l uh, what what is it r l m radio dot x y z yeah i know my own sites <laughs> <laughs> yeah i can it out so much but come on over and jump on into the chat here and you'll be great and you'll be happy to talk to all the folks that are here hanging out with us as we do on these Friday nights, we got we got yep. we got we got the barman, the mighty barman, the mighty barman, uh, the mighty beetle, the mighty cowboy tech, me, the mighty you, <laughs> Miss Kate, <laughs> Kate anti Asmo Chalcedoni, Sicklo, uh, Miss Dam Van Amita, uh, Frumpy the Frumpster, uh, Grams, hey, are you awake, Grammy? How you feeling, Grammy? You doing better? How's that back going? Come on, come on, honey, fix yourself up. All right, uh, we got Java Doctor and Hansel J. Dredd, uh, the Prince Man, who said he's going to be starting his show back up tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be uh, interesting. It's been a while. I, apparently, he's got a chick to do him with him now. Uh, well, we'll see. He'll see who that is and how that goes and where he's at now. He's living his life in lockdown Los Angeles. Who's um, that, Prince? Yeah, Prince. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's got some chick right cool. here. Supposed to co-host with him now. Uh, we got Mr. Rob Works and the Mighty Bubla. The Ro Mighty Rob Works and the Mighty Bubla. Uh, the Mighty Roams and his cohort, Trust No One. <laughs> They're both here. Vanna and Weathered Ark. Uh, Gabby, are, uh, she's she's new. She just came in here today. She stumbled across us on the interwebs. Uh, we got the Phantom and uh, uh, Benoit. Betty! How are you doing, Betty? Uh, Betty Boy. CC66, Joe Skurron, Miss Chloe with us tonight. Hi, Chloe. How the hell are you doing? Yeah, she loves the XYZ site. Uh, and uh, it's working better, too, by the way, now, the XYZ site on this new stream because this is uh, an SSL stream, which I never had with the Shoutcast. So uh, it, it, does it make a difference? No, but but there's no lag anymore. The XYZ, the, uh, the, the, the audio stream is up to spec now. It's right, It's right on time. So uh, there's that. We got Cyborg Noodles, E Man, Ensive, Gromit, Guest 2901. I'm going to think that's uh, JJ's or Asmo. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're, the, they're the two that usually come in under their own name and then forget to, to give their password and, and they get guested. 
Uh, we got Kiss and Pone Sauce in the sack puppet. Saxter, the Saxter, uh, spot ass. Stephen, uh, that's graphics there, Stephen49. Uh, the holiest of Rogers in uh, W. Uh, uh, anti, are you in hiding today? Um, <laughs> Woodman <laughs> is down here. Didn't I see Meister Brown? No, no, there's no Meister Brown, just Woodman. All right, and uh, Zippix with us tonight. What a crowd! What a crowd! Man, that's a that's a that's a that's a gang. The gang's all here. It is. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> anyway. That's them. And then we have you and me here. Yep. On the we're air. here. On the on the on the wire. I say on the air, but we're not really on the air. We're on the wire. No. We're on the yep. intertubes, interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All that stuff. So uh how you doing? Hanging in there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. And uh you uh you got laid off? What'd you, what'd yeah. you say? Furloughed? Okay. Furloughed? Yep, that's what, what they called it. What's the difference? What's the difference? Right, I mean... I mean, did you get you get unemployment? They said I would be able to, yeah. Okay. So So there's that, I guess, but I guess that's a big mess, so I don't know how that's so going to work. So is furloughed means you're hired back faster or easier or something? I don't know. Oh, all right. Well, so I'll still like earn like sick time and stuff like that. So. Oh, great. Okay. So, so that, is, that is better than being laid off. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that that's that's cool. And then you get money. Uh, what, what do they call that crap? They're doing some kind of government shit where they coronavirus get it. something. I don't know. Yeah. Corona money. Who knows? Free corona money. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which I did get uh, this week. You got the what? Stimulus. Oh, oh yeah. You 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 have the uh, direct deposit check. Yeah, I did. Yep. Yeah, so okay. I got I got it. Are you busy over there? What's going on? You me? Yeah. No. Oh okay. I'm just wondering. I'm just here. Yeah, you got a little delay going on. <laughs> oh, I was I had to mute a couple times. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're feeling stimulated now, baby? Oh. No, I'm not. Like, <laughs> really, I'm not. Uh, I mean, it, it helps. I mean, I, I was lucky because I've been working the whole time, you know? Yeah, sure, sure. So I wasn't really hurting for money as bad as some people were. Through all this. Right, yeah. You know, and the unemployment thing, I'm not really confident in that system. Well, I would think probably not. I mean, it seems like kind of a hokey-ass system, so... And then the small business, um, whatever thing they were going to do, payroll protection or whatever, ran out of money. Oh, was it, isn't that different? <laughs> Isn't the small business thing? Yeah, different? that's different. Okay, okay. So I know the small business thing ran out of money, but did the payroll protection also run out of money? Oh, I thought that's what that it was. No, I, 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 the the small business okay. deal, which was for giving loans, which would be oh, okay. Yeah, giving loans to small businesses, which would in the future uh, be um, paid back as long as you. Followed every little single little rule that they laid out there, and there was a bunch of them uh, mm -hmm. for for that. So uh, I, I think I think the uh, payroll protection thing is still. Uh, oh okay. Yeah, that that's still that's being good. funded. So so you should get the same amount of money that you're getting now. I think so. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you, you get whatever you get from unemployment, and they they make up the rest or something like that. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. So, well. Yeah, you should be all right. Hmm. And you're still collect, and you're still getting your sick pay and vacation. So. Yeah, yeah. and it's um. What was I saying? Oh no, it's just um. They extended the lockdown in Wisconsin. That's why, you know, they thought it was just going to go to the end of April. Right. But then they extended it to May 26. So. Jeez. That kind of the hell's wrong with these people. Things. <laughs> the, the hell is wrong with these Hello? people. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. 
talking? I'm not, what happened? You must have. You must have pressed your. Mute oh my gosh! Key. You must have pressed your mute key. Hello. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> All right, check your root button there, Boz. Not not you, not your not your voice mute. The other one. Oh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I I always heard you. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Looks like I <laughs> muted my speaker. Yeah. <laughs> I so, thought you know what... you're like. I'm looking at my head. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah, I'm not you, muted. Yeah, you got two. You got two mute buttons on there. You got a plus and a minus for volume. You got a I see it. Mi- I, I microphone know. mute and a, and a and a speaker mute. So you. Was, you I accidentally clicked on it or something. And yeah, it's, it's easy to do on these old things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh boy. <laughs> no, but it, it. I don't know. I I two just. Two mutes. I don't know. Whatever. It, it is what it is. It is what it is, and and uh, uh, well, we'll get into more of that later. Yeah, <laughs> that, that crazy, stuff. crazy. So uh, yeah, so yeah. I'm uh, I'm uh, uh, you know trying to do eBay stuff now, so I'm making a little money over there. Oh good. <clears throat> so oh, I, I I found a trick today because like um, I I tried to post something up today. Uh, which I still have another of the same item running uh, there on eBay. And they said, oh, we don't let you do two of the exact same thing uh, at the same time on eBay. So I just I just modified the title slightly, and then let it through. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> a stupid role is that? Anyway. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, let's go in. Um, the, uh, anything exciting going on here? Not really. I went to a taco shop here, a new ta- taco shop in town the other day. Oh, good. And uh, yeah, there's no uh, there's no uh, social distancing going on there. Oh there's, no. Oh good. There, there, there's no personal protective equipment being worn. <laughs> it's just just a, a guy and his wife making tacos <laughs> and other Mexican, <laughs> other Mexican food. Uh, I feel bad. Well. I feel bad for him though. I mean he. He, uh, the shop that he's in, it's been through like four different owners over the last three years. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's going to do too well. And, uh, his food wasn't really very good, so. Oh, well, that doesn't help. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, but again, see, I'm used to real Mexican food. And, and right. He, and he and his wife are real Mexicans. But I started mm-hmm. talking to him about various, uh, Mexican foods and, and uh, he he was like, well, no, we don't do that. No, we don't. And I asked about like uh, tamales. No, we don't do, do tamales. Do you do carnitas? No, we don't do carnitas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. And, and then uh, he made a re- hell of a bean burrito, but but his taco was on like a preformed taco shell. I was like, what the hell? What the hell oh. is this? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but I'm just saying, you know, they, they're not doing. There's there's no. No, it looks like everything in Moriarty's still open. So, no, that's good. I don't, I don't think we have a problem here. Not here. <laughs> no, but they're going to let golf courses be open. <laughs> right. Well, you know, you you folks in the bigger towns have more uh, restrictions on you because you have uh, you have uh, more people. No, because your governments are more are more. Uh, Tyrannical. <laughs> yeah, that too. I, I think that's the pro- I think that's the proper word for that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's play some music and uh, get okay, started we'll here, that. and uh, and we'll we'll come back after that and talk about stuff. Alrighty. Whether you want to or not. Right. Yeah. This is some band named Metallica. I don't know. You ever heard of them? Yes, I have heard of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was uh, Kurt Smith uh, from Tears for Fears and his uh, daughter there um, uh, doing Mad World. Uh, Yeah, that was was an excellent version of that, by the way. I I enjoy it anyway. 
Uh, they're, they're doing that, you know, lockdown thing, uh, playing from home. Uh, they're Kurt Smith. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, anyway, yeah, it, it was cool, you know, watching the dad and his daughter there doing that stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyway, before that, we had uh, Everlast and Santana for Cowboy Tech uh, with Put Your Lights On off of the uh, Supernatural DVD. And, and we kicked it off with a Rome's Request there, Metallica, Welcome Home, Sanitarium, Sanitarium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah. All right. Good music, hey? Hey? Hey. Hey? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, hey, so... Craziness ensues, as usual. It does. Uh, it continues, ensues. So, apparently Trump called out to some state to, like, fight back for the lockdown, on the lockdowns. Uh-huh. And Minnesota was one of those states that some people decided that they should say, fuck this, <laughs> and go out and demand an end to the lockdown, but... Uh, most of them seem to be Trump supporters because a lot of them are holding Trump signs and uh, they put a thing of Trump up outside the governor's mansion. A thing um, of Trump? What's a thing of Trump? Like a cardboard cutout. Oh, okay. A life life cardboard cutout of Trump. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I showed you the link. I put it in the PM, but... You did? Oh, you did. Okay. Maybe you didn't see it. Some of the uh, signs and stuff, though, are pretty good. Yeah. Some of the, they, they are really creative. <laughs> let's just put it that way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, let's see what this link says here. If it's anything. Um, let's see. Hundreds across the nation answer Trump's call to liberate. Oh, I saw. I saw the. I saw the hashtags all over Twitter. Yeah. On Twitter today, they were all trending all the various liberate ones from various right. states. Uh, liberate states from stringent virus lockdown. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Huh? As they stage raucous protests from Minnesota to California while defying, oh, those defiers. Yeah, they, they're rebels. <laughs> Social distancing orders. Oh, God. So uh, Trump urged supporters to liberate Three states, three states led by Democratic governors Friday, apparently encouraging the growing protests against the stay-at-home restrictions aimed at stopping corona. One lady's holding the sign, I need a haircut. <laughs> oh, God. So a day after... One late... holding the sign that says, be like Sweden. Yeah, be like Sweden. Sure, why not? That's good. One... Yeah, I don't know if you're. Let's see here. Let me go to the okay. show here. I mean, a day a day after laying out the roadmap to gradually reopen the crippled economy. Yeah, that's still isn't gonna go well. Uh, Trump took to Twitter with a kind of rhetoric some of his supporters mm -hmm. have have used in demanding the lifting of orders that have thrown millions of Americans out of work. Yeah, and it's like it doesn't matter. So he put liberate Minnesota, liberate Michigan, liberate Virginia. Oh, and do I have the article on that one, the, the Michigan one? Uh, I don't think I do. But the uh, Michigan governor, she's uh, she's like being a real bitch about it. She's, yeah. She's like, well, if you're gonna protest, then we're just gonna extend the the, the lockdown for longer. Right. And it's just like, what, 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 what does that have to do with anybody's protection or health? You're just being a bitch. Anyway, and 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 um, you're, you're you're screwing with millions of people's lives. I don't know how many people live in Michigan, but probably quite a lot. Uh, yeah. And, and and so you got a couple hundred people come out here, protest on the lawn or wherever the hell they were, and 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 she said, "Well, we got these people out here, so we're gonna we're gonna screw everybody for 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 weeks more." It's like, yeah. Who the hell do you think you are? Uh, she she needs she needs to be tossed out on her. Well, they all need to be tossed out on her ass, but um, uh, yeah, so, especially her. Uh, I mean, I mean, considering the actions of today. <laughs> so yeah, okay, I'm looking at the uh, okay. They're all waving flags. 
Oh, all of them are. Oh, they're all waving flags. I, I, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw a little video thing on on the Twitter today, where a, kids all on this. I don't know if it was all just this one block or was all over the place. But kids walking out to the end of their driveway all at the same time, and saying the Pledge of Allegiance. What? And I was like, that's 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 messed up. That's, uh, that's, that's oh god. That's that's disgusting. Well, what the hell? These kids, they're being locked in their homes by people yeah. that have no clue what they're up to, what they're doing, that 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 think, and and they and they are praising that action. They are praising that action. Oh man, I just I just don't get it. Uh, here's a guy with this, this sign, "Don't tread on me" sign or flag out there. Yeah. <laughs> There's a, there's a oh, couple look. good ones oh, there, but they're, they're confused. They're, they're freaking. Well, they they're, like they're, Trump, so they do want what Trump said to do. They, they, they have a they have, they have a flag, American big American flag with big big Trump's face on it. I saw that. <laughs> Just like, isn't that desecrating this thing that, that you're you're supposed to be? Uh, I don't know, whatever. Uh, oh yeah, there's the cutout. The cut it. <laughs> well, Trump is kind of a cut out himself, so yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, Minnesota needs work. Fake crisis. Okay, I got those. I need a haircut. Okay, and then <laughs> here's one. Uh, one guy with his his t shirt back to blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, if the, if the blue comes out there where you're at, they're gonna whack you upside the head with a baton. Yeah, all uh, right. No you, kidding. You still gotta back him at that point. Uh, yeah. And they got a skeleton guy. Me after quarantine. <laughs> Stop the shutdown. Well, they're pretty funny and creative, but they're confused. Oh boy! I tell you, man, uh, they got the the red the circle with the red slash through it through Stay Home Minnesota. Free the humans! Free the humans! <laughs> <laughs> uh, treat us like free Americans. Treat yourself like free Americans. Just leave. Just right. Just Don't walk. ask government to do that. Hell. They're not going to do that for you. Uh, some woman holding a sign. My husband didn't serve 16 years in the military, military for charity. You want to bet? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he did, lady. What, Your sign is incorrect. What, what, <laughs> incorrect. What, what do you think he was doing? That's brainwashed right there. That's brainwashed oh, right there. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, oh, here, here's some woman holding a sign. You work for us. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're supposed to think. Well, that's what the, oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't see the Biden signs out here. Huh? No. There's a couple people wearing masks. One guy's wearing a I support wall, or holding no, I support wall sign. He's wearing a mask. Oh, they, and there's a, a Fuhrer, let us free. I'm going to picture yeah. the, the governor there. <laughs> I'm hearing him the Hitler. Uh, yeah, you know, he was, he already has got like a little Hitler mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one kid the holding the one. It says God didn't give us an immune system for a reason, but I just replaced it. We don't have them. We have immune systems for a reason, okay? Yeah. There's a reason why we have immune systems. Oh, it says God it's gave us an immune system. Control disease or help with controlling disease. People who are immunocompromised always have a problem controlling any cold or flu or anything. Every time they get sick in some way, they're compromised because they're always immunocompromised. Here's the, uh, I guess, the uh, guy running against your current, the the current mayor there in Minnesota, Lewis. I saw that, yeah. Driving around in a motorhome or something. He's shaking hands or something. I don't know what he's, he's pointing I don't know. Is he is he actually shaking people's oh, hands? Yeah, I don't know yeah, if that would be a smart idea. Yeah, the ca- the caption said he shakes hands, but mm, okay. The caption, I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, Maybe some guy in a little sports car. People screaming, yelling, having a good old time. Oh a, yeah, a, a guy on a motorcycle with a helmet that's got all the coronavirus things sticking out of it. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the ice support walls. Walls, balls is what you support. Uh, right, <laughs> not good name. Oh, just, just what, 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 what's this? Well, Trump, what's Trump that? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what's, he, what's he this? What's, what's, do what's, this? What's, what's this? What? Don't cancel my golf season. 
<laughs> Golf season. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. All right. Craziness. Yeah, I tell you, man, it's some wild shit. All right. And this this guy... is nuts. I mean, this is unprecedented. Um, some fat ass dude wearing a never apologize for being a patriot t shirt, <laughs> hol- holding a flag and looking pissed yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just lovely. All right. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, it's um out of this world insanity. Yeah. Um We've no oh here's something about the Mrs Ms. Burke scarves. Oh that family made Daily Mail. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> it's a thing. I guess it is. I I see them talking about it in the chat here. So, yeah. So, anyway, I was thinking the mask is kind of like symbolic for silencing you. And then they don't want you to gather in groups because they don't want you discussing this shit. Okay. Well, speaking of the masks. Right? Speaking of the masks. This here posted on thegothamist.com. New York's mask rule takes effect Friday night, uh, which is now. So beginning at 8 p.m., that means all you folks out there in New York, all New Yorkers must don a face mask or covering when they venture outside and are unable to socially distance at least six feet from others, including on public transit and four high... They still have public transit going there? Yeah, they Uh, have been all this whole time. Oh, okay. Um, uh, And four higher vehicles like taxis and Ubers. That's the, another thing I thought about. How in the hell did they allow the subways and stuff to keep running? I, I, I no That's clue. That's probably what spread the, if, you know, I, come on. Uh, the, the new rule, which Cuomo announced uh, yes, uh, Wednesday, will pose yet another critical test for New York City residents who have been under stay-at-home order for nearly a month, although there are signs that the curve of infections has flattened. I hate that phrase. Flatten the curve. Yeah. Uh, many experts worry about a resurgence. Uh, Dr. Anthony Fraudchi, an infectious yep. disease expert, expert my ass, on the White House Corona Task Force, has said that the virus is likely seasonal, meaning it won't be completely eradicated. And who cares if it is? It's not that big a deal. While some New Yorkers have started wearing face masks, many still do not, and some public areas, including Union Square and Domino Park in Brooklyn, have continued to attract large numbers of people. There is no civil penalty attached to Kubo's executive order on face masks. Well, that's a relief. But the governor said that he is considering fines. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Uh, in, lieu of a oh, mask, yeah. in lieu of a mask, people may also wear scarves or bandanas over their noses and mouths. <laughs> Uh, during, during, during his press conference on Friday, Mayor Blasio urged New Yorkers to report viola- violations of social distancing on 311. Call! Report your neighbors! Uh, no! Uh, no! No! Pe- no! People, people can also text a photo oh, God. to a number 311-692. Uh, <laughs> All we need is the photo... And the specific location, Blasio said. Oh, my God. Then what are they going to do? Just put the address down, and, and we're good to go. Uh, and, in, and enforcement will happen right away. Enforcement. Ooh, ooh enforcement. Yeah. You know what that means? Beat your ass. That's what that means. Pretty much. Beat you. Uh, and find you. Throw you in a cage. Uh, do yep. nasty things no, to no. you. Any myriad of things they could do to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's lovely. That's freaking This lovely. is awesome. Isn't it? That's freaking Isn't lovely. this wonderful? Yeah. So, uh, okay. I talked about the gloves thing, right? Did you? About how people, I feel, have been improperly using their protective equipment, blah, blah, blah. 
this is a good story. It's a perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, now there's some photos you might want to post here too, Graham. All right. So I'll post it in the chat here. So it says, <clears throat> careless or confused, snaps reveal people's very bizarre behavior during, during lockdown, including eating snacks with disposable gloves and wearing a snorkel in <laughs> the supermarket. Wearing a snorkel? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I saw some guy in a full scuba uniform. Or outfit, you know, not uniform. <laughs> you did? Yeah, well, not not personally. He was he was on the on, on the on the interway. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. in Moriarty? <laughs> no, no. But but I, I've seen some weird shit, man. People dressed up really weird. But yeah. it's, it's generally like one person or two people dressed right. up in some kind of weird. Uh, and everybody else is just normal. Everybody, yeah. Everybody, everybody else is just walking around like a normal person. Um. <laughs> so I don't know. But anyway. It, it, there's one guy, he's got the glove in his mouth while he's holding his phone with the other hand. While he's waiting in line. It's yeah. like, dude, if there's coronavirus on that glove, you just fucking gave yourself the shit. Yeah, there he is. I mean, or who knows what else. Uh, there, there, he, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not effective. The wrong way to be using gloves. The wrong way to be protecting yourself is what that dude's doing right there. Oh, yeah, there's the X's on the squares, which yeah. uh, which looks uh, which looks very similar to um, what they have at the post office, except there's not okay. there's not three lines because okay, there's six feet between this one and this one. All right. <laughs> how, how many feet you got here? You got like six inches. <laughs> so, oh, in between the ones in the front yeah. there. Yeah, that's yeah. not six feet apart. <laughs> so, 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 as, as somebody posted, well, it's a good thing the virus can't travel sideways. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How dumb, right? <laughs> Come on. What brainiac put those on? Okay. And then there's the practice social distancing, yeah, big yeah. old traffic sign. You know what they got for traffic? You yeah. know, and all the kids hanging all out there. All these people sunbathing. This is in Australia. Then you got the other guy waiting in line with his grocery cart, with his gloves on, eating a snack out of a bag with his gloves on. <laughs> and then you got the teenage Walmart worker that's got his gloves on. He's holding his phone in one hand. And he's got his other gloved hand on his chin, resting on his chin. <laughs> okay, good thing he's wearing gloves, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, and then the snorkel lady. And like, really, lady? Oh, yeah, there she is. Really? That's doing absolutely no good. <laughs> at all. Is this at Walmart? Is that a, that's gotta be, is that another one? That's gotta be, like, oh, I, that I is, what is, that, that is Walmart, snorkel lady. As a, yeah. As the Walmart sign there. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway, like, people have been worried about cash, right? Yeah. And if you scroll down a little bit. Oh, look, look what's this. Corona beans. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they left them right there. Every, no every, every, everything is sold out except for the Corona beans. <laughs> I don't want no Corona beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next picture is the shriveled up cash. So don't put your cash in the microwave, apparently, to sanitize it. Do not, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Five, I guess spray it with white salt or something. Uh, 5000 5, Canadian dollars right there. Gone. Was it five thousand? Oh my god! <laughs> quarantine oh and chill. Oh my god! Quarantine and chill. They're all hanging on to each other. <laughs> wow! Wow! Uh, I don't know what's easy. Oh yeah, are. That, this this proves my point that people, you're not using your protective equipment or your properly. brains. Yeah. Yeah, or your masks, or. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh God. <laughs> right. Oh my God. Okay, I'll save this one. For that. I okay. got, I got more to talk about. I, this whole lockstep thing. It, it's. I talked yeah. about. It, I talked about it on on, on uh, Grim Leftovers a couple, well, three weeks ago or something. Okay. But it's it's coming back up, and um, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I got a couple stories about it to cover. So. Sounds good. We got this one though. This is a good one here. Uh, All right. We got to talk about this because this is, you know, 
you got to be careful skydiving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this uh, skydiving accident ruled uh, death by coronavirus. What? <laughs> I think they're ruling every death during this time related exactly. to Corona. Exactly. So, uh, local local man Brett Garfield was tragically killed in a skydiving accident yesterday. His death was quickly ruled death by coronavirus by <laughs> medical experts. Uh, Garfield wasn't tested for coronavirus, but he exhibited many of the symptoms, such as suffering and dying, and was immediately added to the rapidly growing coronavirus death stats. Uh, Brett, 42, 42-year uh, uh, lifelong, what? Brett's 42-year long life, okay. Uh, odd, odd way of phrasing that. Oh, it was tragically cut short yesterday, presumably by coronavirus, as he plummeted into the ground at a high rate of speed uh, by a set of Riverside County health official. Damn you, coronavirus! How many more will you take from us? How many more? Uh, as Garfield's... As Garfield's body was scraped off the ground with a giant medical spatula, uh, which is how they <laughs> they take care of these things. Wow. Uh, the coroner stood by and took notes on his clipboard. Yep, looks like coronavirus to me. Uh, if he'd only social socially distanced himself from the ground or worn a mask, he'd have oh been okay. <laughs> Add him to the numbers, boys. I guess you could say at this point. He put his sunglasses. He put his sunglasses on for dramatic effect. I guess you could say he didn't understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> the coroner spent the rest of his day ruling the death of a bus crash victim, a man hit by a freight train, and a guy crushed by a vending machine as uh, coronavirus fatalities. Wow! What the hell? Babylon B. What the hell? I yeah. mean, why are they doing that? Babylon B. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that's far from the truth, really. <laughs> no, it's really not I really far from the truth. I think they're doing that. Well, I I'll, think tell, I'll tell you. Know, most, any, any stuff, yep. Mo, mo, almost, almost all the stuff on the B has a majority of truth and a little bit of humor. Uh, right, exactly. Wow. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> wow, God, <laughs> oh. wow, <laughs> the bee, they cracked me up, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, okay, let's play some more music here, okay, and, let's and, do that, when we come back, we'll get into this lockstep stuff, because, uh, yeah, because th that's, that's where we're at, that's what's really going on. Yep, it is. And if you, you, people, right. you people out there, look up Lockstep. It's a 10-year-old document from, from 2010. Uh, a, a thing, you know that if the document was produced 10 years ago, they were working on it for a long time before that, and it took right. them all this time uh, to, to get it rolled out. Uh, yep. This is messed up shit. Uh, and, yeah, it is. And, and if once you understand... Uh, the, the intentions of these people. You're not going to yeah. be happy. You're not going to be happy. No. It, it's not good. Uh, it's anyway. This is a uh, jittery Jack. Alrighty. Yeah. Yep, bird John Prine. Um, there for you all. Uh, Pluto is still a planet. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's the uh, song is called Lonesome Friends of Science. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure you all caught it there. Lonesome Friends of Science say the world will end most any day. Uh, if it does, that's okay. Because I don't live here anyway. <laughs> Before that, I think that was a Moose Girl request. Tracy Chapman, give me one reason there. And we kicked it off with Jittery Jack uh, doing something wicked. Uh, this way it comes. Uh, yeah, that's some good yeah. stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> oh, good old Johnny. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, that song, man. That's, uh, uh, he, he saw it coming, man. He saw it coming. He, he must yeah. have. I mean, the, the lyrics of that song, just tell you, he saw he saw this shit coming. And, yeah. Uh, it's, a, I guess, a little ironic that it wound up grabbing him. Uh, yeah. Um, if, indeed, uh, that is what happened. 
Um, right. Right. And they may have just came after him because he, he, he made that song, you know. It's uh, not beyond the realm of question there. Um, reason. So, uh, Anyway, anyway, John, rest in peace. We love you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, man. Okay. <sighs> lockstep, lockstep. And if you look at what's yeah. going, if you look at what's going on in the world right now, mm-hmm. you can see lockstep going on in action, live yep. out there. It's it's happening. It's. Uh, this is exactly what they what they had put into words uh, in in their in their report. Um, yep, it, it, it's it's kind of incredible uh, uh, that that they planned all this stuff out. And <sighs> all right, we've been uh, talking about it for eleven years, Grim. Oh, I know, but but I'm just saying this this is. Uh, documented evidentiary proof here of of what they've done. Uh, yep. So this is first uh, this first one here comes from uh, globalresearch.ca. Uh, it says the lockstep simulation scenario, a coronavirus like pandemic that becomes trigger for police state controls. And I'm going to say it's military state controls. Thank you, Solomon. Um, no. Nope. Uh, but but this is it. Um, by now. Those following the novel or novel, depending on how you want to say that, uh, novel coronavirus epidemic are familiar with Event 201, the pandemic simulation staged by the people you're getting all your data from, John Hopkins University, in conjunction with the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Johnson & Johnson, and other ruling class heavy hitters, uh, in October, I covered this uh, article, by the way, over on the uh, the Grand Leftovers. And he just uh, said that today in his briefing. Who did? Trump. He talked about lockstep and event two hundred one. No, he lock, he talked about all those companies you just said. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Those are, those are all the companies involved in the event two hundred one, plus yep. plus the military. Anyway, the and those media, are all the companies that Trump mentioned today in his presser. And what, what did he say about them? That they're doing something. They're involved. Of course they're involved. They're the behind it. The vaccine creation, like Johnson & Johnson. Oh, he oh, pumped oh, them up big oh, time. Oh, the vaccine creation. No, the virus creation. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, well, that too. Wow. <laughs> the media establishment has already picked the story clean, set up and eviscerated a straw man. No, Bill Gates didn't cause the coronavirus epidemic, silly conspiracy theorist. <laughs> uh, and uh, convinced the group itself to issue a statement denying their exercise was meant to predict the behavior of the actual virus to follow. Uh, but few are aware that the epidemic playing out in China and two dozen, well, all the other countries now, uh, this article was posted on February 5th, by the way. Um, so we're talking at the very beginning of all this crap. Um, Right. So, uh, it's a, so at that point, uh, few were aware that the epidemic playing out in China and two dozen other countries. Now it's what 180 countries or something. Uh, 184 and, supposedly. Yeah, including the United States is unfolding in line with the decade-old simulation titled Lockstep. Lockstep devised by the Rockefeller Foundation in conjunction with the Global Business Network. The scenario, one of four included in a publication called Scenarios for Future Technology and International Development in 2010, describes a coronavirus-like pandemic that becomes the trigger for the imposition of military state controls on movement, economy, and other areas of society. The lockstep scenario describes a world of tighter, top-down government uh, control and more authoritarian leadership with limited innovation and growing citizen pushback. In 2012, two years after the report, uh, an extremely virulent and deadly strain of influenza originating with wild geese brings the world to its knees. And, and Well, it was geese instead of bats in the, in the report, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> infecting 20% of the global population and killing 8 million people in just seven months. The majority of them healthy young adults 
which, again, that's slightly different because it's going after older people more. Uh, it devastates global economies. It ruptures international trade. We got that, check. Uh, but, yep. not, but not everyone, the Rockefeller Foundation makes clear, is hit equally. Uh, that's true. Countries of Africa, Southeast Asia, and Central America suffer the worst, and we don't know how that's going to play out yet. In the absence of official containment protocols, containment protocols, it would be the Rockefeller Foundation if someone wasn't licking their lips at the thought of a mass die-off in the Global South. But Western, quote, democracies, unquote, also play the ultimate, pay the ultimate price. The U.S. initial policy of strongly discouraging citizens from flying, which is now its ban, so I guess that's strongly discouraging, uh, proved deadly in its leniency, accelerating the spread of the virus, uh, not just within the U.S., but across borders, the report warns, but remove such obstacles as those pesky individual rights. Right. And, Good for yeah, and you have a recipe for surviving, even thriving in the event of a pandemic. The foundation gushes, uh, a quote from the reporter, a few countries did fare better. China in particular, the Chinese government's quick imposition and enforcement of a mandatory quarantine, which we saw, uh, for all citizens, as well as its instant and near hermetic sealing off of all borders, saved millions of lives, stopping the spread of the virus far earlier than in countries and enabling a swifter post-pandemic recovery. This part that I'm reading here for to you, mm -hmm. that, that was written in 2010, 2010. That's not from yesterday. That's not from... <laughs> it could be. This, it could be, because it's playing out exactly as this report said. Exactly. Operation Lockstep. Uh, the message is clear. Police state good, freedom bad. And right. other, other governments rapidly get the message, according to the simulation. First and third world nations alike follow the suit by flexing their authority and imposing quarantines body temperature checks, and other airtight rules and restrictions. Again, 10 years ago. Most of which, the report is careful to note, remain in place even as the pandemic recedes into the past. You think, it's go you think all this shit's going away? No, no it's not. Uh, <laughs> most of which, uh, the report is careful to note. Oh, I already read that part. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, in, in order to protect themselves from the spread of increasingly global problems from pandemics and transnational terrorism to environmental crises and rising poverty, leaders around the world took a firmer grip on power. The power grab is facilitate, facilitated by a frightened citizenry who willingly gave up some of their sovereignty and their privacy to more paternalistic states in exchange for greater safety and stability, tolerant and even eager for top-down direction and oversight. Do you see it? Do you see it happening now? Uh, yep. Is this yep. a surprise? It shouldn't be because this nope, was all me. well planned. When people call this a planned demic, take, that, right. take, take, take that word to heart. They mean it. Everything from tighter biometric identification, which they're working on, to stricter industrial regulation is welcomed with open arms. It takes over a, de uh, takes over a decade for people to grow weary. So not until 2030 till people start growing weary of authoritarian controls imposed in the wake of the pandemic and hints that even the civil unrest and untimely uh, ultimate, that ultimately manifests is focused on the developed world. After all, a popular uprising in the technocratic police state, military state, envisioned by the simulation, would be all but impossible, as it will be in real life once 5G makes real-time total surveillance of all cities an absolute reality. Now, I'm going to let you all uh, take the rest of this, this article here for yourself. Uh, there's a video also in here, uh, Police State Contagion, U.S. Plans to Use Bioweapons to Impose Martial Law, um, uh, that, that you uh, will want to watch 
if you're at all interested in any of this, because um, <laughs> and how could you not be, uh, right? Uh, I, 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 how, how could you not uh, be interested in all of this? Um, thank you for that, uh, Moose Girl, the SGT report link there. Yeah, that um, one has a video, too, but yeah. then there's another... Okay, well, I've got, got one. PDF. Uh, you got the PDF of the thing uh, right here. I don't have the PDF of Lockstep, but... I do right here. It might it might be in one of those. Okay, thank you for that. Um, yeah. Okay, that that's terrific. I'll, I'll put that into the into the blog okay. as well. Um, it, 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 what, what do we got going on here? What, oh, what's, I don't know. What's happening here? Oh, I, 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 can't, I can't copy... Uh, um, I can't copy the title of... Uh, of a of a of a of a PDF document for with my normal tool, which is fine. Um. <laughs> We're all touched by it, these Cowboy Tech. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it, this is this is nuts. Um, okay, I'll, I'll just leave it like yep. that for now. Uh, so here's this other one. It's on the Dollar Vigilante DollarVigilante.com. dot com. Scam Demic. How a lockstep authoritarian top-down control system is being imposed on the world. Now, this was on March 29th, so it's a bit newer uh, than the other one, which is February 2nd. Um, uh, so, here it is. Another day in the post-corona world, and more people are in lockdown than ever before. After India went into lockdown this week, one-third of the world's population is now officially under corona lockdown. And in the U.S., things are really starting to roll out swiftly with the Trumpster just yesterday, uh, 28th of March, uh, making an announcement stating that he's considering locking down the entire state of New York, as well as the neighboring states of New Jersey and Beetle, Beetle's home, Connecticut. Uh, but the craziness in New York and New England doesn't end there. In the small state of Rhode Island, to the east of Connecticut, uh, the, the state police have been ordered to begin going door-to-door -door hunting down refuge seekers, hunting down refuge sneak seekers from New York and making sure they obey the 14-day self-quarantine order they're supposed to follow after traveling. Hunting down? Oh. Sounds nice. Based on the uh, number of military vehicles being rolled out across the USSA, uh, mm -hmm. things do appear rather grim for Americans up ahead. But all this has been years in the making. Yep. Just ask the philanthropists at the <laughs> philanthropists, philanthropists at the Rockefeller Institute. Back in 2010, the institute came up with a plan they called Lockstep in which they talk about how the influenza strain would be used to impose more authoritarian top-down control on the governments of the world. Now, I'm just going to stop there with this, this article, but there is a video, which I'll also embed the video uh, of this, which I watched today. It's like 50 minutes or something like that, 51 minutes, uh -huh. um, uh, that, that, that I watched today, and it, it spells it out oh so clearly, oh so clearly. Um, yeah. Yeah, thanks for that, JJ, too, by the way. Um, uh, I, I think that's the, uh, oh, oh no, that's the, the masks ones that JJ sent me. I already, oh, talked, about, uh, the, I already talked about the New York masks a little bit earlier, uh, JJ, yep. in case you weren't here for it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, he sent me, he sends me good information uh, and stuff to, uh, to to check out before the show. So I appreciate that. I do. Uh, I, I, I get stuff from people, you know, for my shows. Uh, uh, Circle O Circle se, se, sends me uh, stuff for for the for the for the leftover show. And um, anyway, so read both of those those lockstep things. Understand that if you you see this as this is just something that sprung up from some guy eating a bat and a bowl of soup, mm -hmm. you're out of your mind. You're nuts. Yep. That, that's not how this happened. That's not how this came about. Um, uh, <laughs> this 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 has uh, been on the drawing board for a long time, and uh, they they are they're rolling it out now. And uh, <laughs> I, I just I, <laughs> oh man. 
It's an agenda. We've been talking about this for a long time. Uh, we have, we have, we have. And we also talked about the UN aspect of it a long time ago and the food program that they put in place way back in like the 80s. Right, right. Called Codex Elementarius, which was part of it. Right. It's all been part of it. All yeah. Everything. Agen everything that's fucking happened has Ag been a part of it. Agenda okay? 21, Agenda 2030. Yes. Um. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, if you guys don't believe this stuff, you know, don't take my word for it. Don't take Grimm's word for it. Look it up. Yeah. You know, people, most people, they don't want to look it up. They just want to watch videos or something. I don't know. All right, Ben, thanks for the video. Um, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I mean, seriously, Codex Elementarius. It's spelled just like it sounds. Yes, it is. You don't even so, you don't even need to know Latin to understand. No. So, so you're, you're still on Facebook, right? Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I don't know if this has started yet or if it's going to be starting. This article mm -hmm. just came out today. It's on Summit News. Summit dot news. I saw it. Uh, Facebook to issue warnings to yep. users who have liked or clicked on coronavirus misinformation. Yes. Uh, I saw that. Those fascists. Those fucking fascist book. Yes. Fascist book is banning conspiracy theories about the virus as determined by someone who worked in the Wuhan biolab. So <laughs> this person, this person worked in the Wu fucking Wuhan biolab, and and they're the ones determining what's real and what's not, because they're probably the ones that released it. So Facebook announced that it will begin issuing warnings to users who have clicked on or liked what it deems to be misinformation about Corona. The social network, the social. CIA Mind Control Program Network, uh, will also direct those users to a site where the World Health Organization lists and debunks virus myths and rumors, according to the AP. Uh, the World Health Organization, them, them that, yeah. that said in the beginning, yeah, no big deal. We don't, this corona, and they were saying that publicly, well, just just licking their lips, waiting for the thing to spread far enough to, for them to say, oh, okay, now we're going to go ahead and say it's a All pandemic. Right. All right. The report okay. states... What? I'll go ahead. All right. The report states the new notice will be sent to users who have clicked on, reacted to, or commented on posts featuring harmful or false claims about corona after they have been removed by moderators. Uh, fa fa <laughs> fuck assholes. Facebook um, is to promote the WHO back site called Get the Facts, as we tell them to you, uh, <laughs> where conspiracy theories about coronavirus are debunked. Bullshit. Um, anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 were you were you were. Uh, I was just going to say they were talking about this thing they're calling contact tracing, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They want to know that if you take the test and you test positive, they want to know everyone you spent time with. Recently. Absolutely. And, then they, and they want to trace back. They want to make sure they get those people, too. Okay? Yeah, oh, so yeah. contact tracing, it sounds really good. It's a bad idea. Oh, it's a horrible it's idea. like uh we talked to, we talk, or 42 where they they want to put stars on people because they're Jewish, but now they don't give a fuck what you are. We we talked about contact tracing last week here. Yeah. That was one that was one of our main topics. Right. Yeah. Um <laughs> I'm just okay. saying, I mean, they talked about it today at the fucking <laughs> um presser thing. Fault she was talking about. Fraud she was talking about it today. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, they're, they they want to do that. They're going to do that. So uh, what what? Don't take the test. Don't take the test. What might happen to you if you criticize the lockdown or say that the Corona hoax is the Corona hoax? I don't what know. What might I mean, happen no. to you? Zero heads. This posted yesterday. Mm -hmm. German lawyer who criticized lockdown arrested. Taken to psych ward. 
<laughs> am I am I am I on your speakers? What's going on there? Yeah, yeah. Let me put you. I, I hear me. That's all. Okay. So, um, oh. and this article actually comes via Paul Joseph Watson from Summit News, but uh, it's posted here on Zero Hedge. So, a German medical lawyer who criticized the coronavirus lockdown law—it's not a law. Law was arrested and taken to the psychiatric ward where she says she was violently abused by authoritarians, authorities. Uh, Bietti Bonner published a press release on April 3rd decrying the German lockdown laws, again, not laws, as flagrantly unconstitutional, infringing to an unprecedented extent many of the fundamental rights of citizens. Uh, a quote from her, her saying, um, these measures are not, ju are not justified by the Infection Prevention Act, hurriedly amended just a few days ago, she asserted. Long-term restrictions on leaving home and meeting others based on high death rate model scenarios, which fail to take into account actual critical expert opinions, and the complete shutdown of businesses and shops with no proof that they pose any risk of infection are thoroughly unlawful. So, uh, yeah, Boehner called for a nationwide protest on Easter Sunday to end the tyranny at once before Hel Hel Heidelberg uh, police announced that they would seek to prosecute her for inciting Germans to break the law. Now, you posted a thing that, or somebody posted a thing, mm -hmm. uh, that, that Facebook shut down a group that was setting up a protest, right? Someone, yeah, someone earlier posted that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that that's here in the good old U.S. of A., not over there in Nazi Germany. Right. Oh, wait, they're not Nazi. Uh, yeah, man. Anyway, on April 13th, uh, Bonner uh, called her sister from Heidelberg's Klink for a Legumen whatever that is, psychiatric, it's a psychiatric hospital. Um, after claiming she was suspiciously followed by a car, Bonner says she asked another motorist to call the police only for the police to show up, handcuff her, and push her to the ground with massive force. Do you think that's not going to happen here? It does sound retro Stasi. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Hansel, I just, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 total insanity. Uh, this is what's going on, though. This this is yep. this this is the state of not only the U.S. but the entire world at this point, because they're doing what? Lockstep. Yes. Lockstep. Ah. All right, we're playing more music. Good idea. Because we, what do we want? We want freedom. We want freedom. Yeah. Don't we? Don't you? Don't all of us? Yeah. Yeah. Freedom? Yeah, well, you know what they you say. You know, <laughs> you know what they say, don't you? What? What's that? Let's see. Oh, let, okay. Let, let's see some time. See you later, Leo. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, Leo Maraccioli and his wife Stein. Uh, they're uh, covering pretty fly for a white guy. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's, he's great. Uh, anyway, before that, we had John Prine, a Moose Girl request there. That's the way the world goes round. And we kicked it off with uh, widespread panic along with the Zashi Trucks band doing the Stones. You can't always get what you want. And if you were paying close attention, if you were paying really close attention, listening mm -hmm. to that song, you heard a little bit of the Almond Brothers Blue Sky mixed in. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Here, I, I went AF AFK for a little bit. So oh, I wasn't here. I'll, 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 in. I'll dump the link there into the chat so you can check it out later. Okay. Uh, it is a great video. Um, a great uh, performance. Yeah, yeah. There you yeah, go. it is. It's awesome. Yeah, there you go. They put it down hard. Yeah, they do. <laughs> so drones are being used in big cities during this. Yeah, they're uh, tracking Telling people. people. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, well, they're, they're tracking people. Uh, of yep. course, of course, they're they're putting out the vocal warnings. Oh, 
if uh, you know, we'll we'll Please, come and uh, practice social distancing. Or we'll come and lock your ass up and beat you. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man. Anyway. Uh, oh my God, it's so much information, like all at one time. It's like ah. They're like. Like inundating us. Well, oh, they do that on purpose. Oh, and they're down. They're downplaying the the meat plant shutting down so far. Right. I mean, they are downplaying it. Five hundred and ninety-eight employees at one meat plant in South Dakota tested positive. That, that's that's a lot. It is a lot. Yeah. I mean. Like two thousand or five thousand, I think people worked there that they said, which is a lot of people. Yeah. But still, um, you don't know what to believe at this. I mean, I know a lot of what to believe, but some of this stuff, you're like, oh my god, you know what I mean? You're just like, oh my god. And some of it is so dystopian. It's like I really can't believe this shit's going on right now. You know, I, I've been watching these Hollywood shows. Through the years, and I watched um, The Handmaid's Tale, and in The Handmaid's Tale, <clears throat> they use drones to track you, every your every move, and they have jackbooted thugs patrolling the streets, walking around with high-powered guns, and if you don't comply, and you're caught, and if you're out in public, you know you. You, you're allowed to not have a mask on unless you're a dissenter, and then you have to wear a mask and you can't talk. <laughs> if you're a dissenter, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, it, what it reminds me of, and and um, mm-hmm. I, I, almost down to a T, is, is uh, the video game Half-Life 2. Um, right, oh, okay. I, I've talked to you about that before. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, if, if anybody here has played Half-Life 2, uh, they get it. They'll, they'll understand. Uh, uh-huh. be, because... Uh, this this is the scenario. Um, of course, it wasn't from a, a virus at that point. It was from a uh, something else they did. They uh, from this, mm-hmm. this, this <laughs> big technology company released a bad thing. Uh, but uh, that's that. It, 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 this is the scene. It's it's the exact stuff uh, from Half Life Two. Uh, it's a total dystopian world. And um, yeah. yep. Anyway, on the that's food. What, that's what's coming to be right now. Yeah. Where is the beef? Okay, on the food here. Uh, from uh, uh, KTVU.com. Fox 2. KV, KTVU. Okay. Uh, dual supply chains. How the pandemic is creating an artificial food shortage. Ah. Uh-huh. So, uh, Oakland, California. America is throwing away massive amounts of perfectly good food, especially meats and produce. Well, well, what else was there? Um, All uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a problem being highlighted by the corona uh, pandemic. We can't always get the food where it's needed due to the logistical problems. Around the nation, desperately needed food in food banks and even increasingly in busy grocery stores is being junked and dumped. That's because the nation has two food supply chains. Uh, One is the food supply chain for grocery stores, such as Safeway, Superstores, like Walmart, and warehouse stores like Costco, uh, uh, properly packaged for family use. Uh, Professor Professor Daniel Sumner, a renowned food and agricultural economist at UC Davis, says the other food supply chain is for commercial bulk foods sold to restaurants, schools, and institutions, a market that is now gone. Uh, <laughs> so my best guess is about 25 to 30 percent of the food in general, and of course it differs by market or by product. Uh, Sumner said Sumner, uh, because of the dual supply chains, each set up to do the same thing in two completely different ways. The Corona pandemic has created an artificial food shortage uh, because you are not just not set up for the packaging. Uh, So there's no quick or simple way to redirect the food to grocery stores and to, and just as important, food banks, especially vegetables, meat, and dairy foods with short shelf lives. Those channels of distribution outlets are broken, 
said Professor Professor Ramesh Balapragada, whatever, who said a lot of rules have to be waived to get the food where it needs to go. They have to uh, they have to quickly find ways to satisfy the demand at those new outlets. Proper planning in a week or so, it is possible, said Bola Paragda. Uh, the guys in the business are working 24 hours a day, scrambling like hell, figuring out how to get the products to the right places. There are a myriad of very strict rules and regulations that apply in normal times about safety or safely storing and repackaging bulk foods. In the corona era, uh, the risk of the virus spreading uh, dangerously increases. If they screw up on food safety, they're out of business, just flat out of business. Uh, to the former dean of Golden Gate University Business School, the nation, if not the entire business world, will have to rethink and revamp the entire supply chain concept. Right now, we've uh, turned a very efficient system to a very inefficient system. We have to solve that problem on the fly, and there's no time to waste. What does the farmer plant today? It's planting season. Well, what do they plant? What are they, they going to do? Uh, so um, the, the problem is not that there's a shortage of food. Now, with the processing plants going down, that's a different problem. Yep. Um, uh, but as far as actually getting those, getting that food, all the food that was supposed to go to the restaurants, to stores and to the food banks and to people, that, that's not that's not a simple change for them because regulations, because governments in the frickin' way as always. Right. Now this article pertains a little more to you. Okay. From ZeroHedge.com on Tuesday. Second wave of corona layoffs claiming workers who thought they were safe. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So uh, when the U.S. Uh, went into virtual lockdown to slow the spread of corona pandemic, the effects were devastating. Within a three-week period, nearly 17 million people had filed for unemployment, while the modern-day bread lines are getting longer each day across the country, if there's any food there for them. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, the initial victims of the lockdown were mostly financially vulnerable restaurant workers, retail employees, and other low-paying jobs in industries, which were immediately impacted by a lack of foot traffic. Now, a second wave of layoffs is hitting those who thought they were safe, according to the Wall Street Journal. White-collar right. white workers working from home are being laid off by companies suffering from... Dismal sales. Yep. Sounds familiar? Yep. yep. Same thing. Yep. Law firms are cutting hours and eliminating positions at, as court systems and legal actions have ground to a near standstill. Yep. Uh, government. Who, no court cases right now. No right. court cases at all. Exactly. And government, who assumed their jobs would be safe from being furloughed amid city and state budget shortfalls, uh, even health care workers, which... Really, they're going after healthcare workers. They are who aren't yeah. di who aren't directly fighting the pandemic are finding right. themselves out of work. You yep. According to the journal, there's more pain on the way. A consensus of 57, 57 economists surveyed this month by the Wall Street Journal is that 14.4 million jobs will be lost in the coming months, and the unemployment rate will soar or rise to a record 13% in June uh, from a 50-year low of 3.5 in February. Already, nearly 17 million Americans have sought unemployment uh, benefits in the past three weeks, dwarfing any period of mass layoffs recorded since World War II. Yep. Uh, Gregory Dacko, chief U.S. economist of Oxford Economics, projects 27.9 million jobs will be lost, and industries beyond those ordered to close will account for 8 to 10 million, a level of job destruction on par with the 20, uh, 2007 through 2009 Great Recession. Uh, Oxford Economics, uh, a UK-based forecasting consulting firm, projects April jobs report, which will capture late March layoffs, 
will show cuts to 3.4 million business service workers, including lawyers, architects, consultants, and advertising professionals, as well as 1.5 million non-essential healthcare workers and 100,000 information workers, including those working in the media, good, get rid of them, and telecommunications. <laughs> uh, the virus shock does not discriminate across sectors as we initially saw it. And where, yeah. job, and where jobs have not been lost, hours have been reduced across many sectors. Yes. So, uh, and a lot of these just aren't, those jobs are not coming back. No. They're, they're just gone. Mine, those, I don't think mine is. Those, those, mine. Those, those companies will fold. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, yep. it's an ugly thing. So, so, so who's, who's not killing that duck? Kill that duck. Oh, all right. I'll kill it. That's all right. I'll kill it. <laughs> all right all right now this one this next one you may enjoy <laughs> all right i know i did <laughs> on news punch news punch dot com bill Gr bill gates instagram page flooded with people calling for his arrest for crimes against humanity <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope that fucking happens. But, yeah, yeah well, not unlikely. I'd not like gonna. It. And I then, won't. so they were they were raked over the coals like a couple of days ago. Yeah. And then today or yesterday, they came out with this huge backpedaling like thing. Oh yeah, because Trump quit funding the WHO. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, Bill and Melinda were like, they did like this this commercial thing or this. I don't know what you call it, PSA or whatever. Yeah. And how great, how they need the funding of the who, and then blah, blah, blah. They were just totally lying. Oh, my God. They got raked over the freaking coals, dude. Yeah. They did. They, people are on to them. No doubt. That's one good thing that I can say that's come out of this is people are on to them, fucking assholes. Right. People are on to them. They're, they, a lot of people out there know what they're really up to. Oh, sure. And it's not good. And they're not cool. They're not good. Even, you know, Trump today mentioned their foundation in the list of companies that he rattled off. Yeah. It's like, really, dude? Really? Yeah. It's ridiculous. You guys, you know, if you don't know the ties between all these players in this game here and this play that's going on right now, mm -hmm. you need to learn who the fuck these people are. Absolutely. Before cause... you start just taking their word for it. Because these people are not, they do not have your best interests at heart. They will tell you that they do. Yep. But they are narcissists, narcissists. And you cannot tr believe a narcissist when they're saying they're looking out for your best interests. Because they're not. They are not. They are not. So, uh, and you're fooling yourself if you think they are. I uh, feel bad for you if you think these people give a fuck about you. I really do. I feel exactly, bad for you. Exactly. So uh, this article here. Bill Gat Gates plan to save the world by rolling out a potentially mandatory vaccine for corona and suggesting nobody will be allowed to resume normal life without a digital certificate. A lot of air quotes going on here. Uh, to yeah. prove they have been vaccinated is proving extremely unpopular with Internet users. Which is yes. everybody. Which is everybody. Internet users. That's everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, Instagrammers are hitting back hard against Gates, punish, pu punishing his posts with thousands upon thousands of angry messages telling him to stop experimenting with the health of the lesser humans right. or, or expect to be charged with crimes against humanity. Yeah. Money doesn't give you any rights against people. You no. need to be charged for crimes against humanity, yes. th said Shizen Raymer and, oh, what there? Uh, in a comment against that, that garnered hundreds of likes. Uh, I look forward to watching your trial, said C.C. Sinelli, in a comment that also picked up hundreds and hundreds of likes. Um, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. also slammed the Microsoft founder 
over his plan for a dictatorial control over global health policy and his messianic conviction that he is ordained to save the world with technology. Right, he's not. He, he is, is not. not. No. He uh, is not. Yep. Yeah. Uh, vaccines for Bill Gates are a strategic philanthropy philanthropy yep. philanthropy philanthropy yep. uh, that feed his many vaccine related businesses including Microsoft's ambition to control a global vac ID enterprise and give him dictatorial control over global health policy the spear tip of corporate neo imperialism Kennedy yep. Jr wrote uh, right Gates obsession with vaccines seems fueled by a messianic conviction that he is ordained to save the world with technology right. and a godlike willingness to experiment with the lives of us lowly, lesser humans. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> exactly. Fuck well, that guy. He's gross. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to. Yeah, no, you uh, really he, wouldn't want to. He ick, is. Ick. No. He is gross. Um, yeah, he is. He's. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well. <clears throat> so, uh. Whew. I'm just glad he's being called out. I'm oh, so happy to see that. Absolutely. That's one good thing. Uh, I'm, you know, out of all this, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did like, I did like this article on Activist Post uh, by Brandon Tuberville. Um, okay. How will America end? A bang, a whimper, or something else? Mm -hmm. Something else. Yep. So uh, hope is a wonderful thing. Even in the darkest of times, hope gives us strength to keep working toward a goal in the face of impossibility or to keep fighting for life, even though all evidence points to the contrary. Hope is what can lead to miracles, to beauty, to revolutions. But hope can be a treacherous thing as well. It can blind those standing on train tracks to believe that the train heading toward them will stop in time or to believe that, despite hearing the whistle as clear as day, that the light at the end of the tunnel is not a train at all. It can fool people living in unbearable circumstances who are listening to their own governments denounce them as criminals and parasites worthy of eradication to believe that things are going to get better. Things will get better, in their mind, because they have to. Yep. Despite everything I've seen from all levels of government in the United States, the mainstream media, the worst of them all, uh, from the American people, I still have to admit that I have hope my country will realize the error of its ways and attempt to return some sense of sanity and normalcy. I hope that the American people realize that this deliberately crashing of our economy, shredding of the Bill of Rights, and placing the majority of people on house arrest was not only a bad idea, but an act of treason on the part of government officials and a terrifying lesson in why government by emotion, outrage mob, and fear always leads to the same thing. The I gotta, I gotta take the dog off, I'm sorry to interrupt you. All right. I'll be right back. Anyway, always leads to the same thing. The imposition of tyranny, the erosion and elimination of civil liberties, and the empowering of would-be tyrants to no longer would-be, but be. I still have hope, but I do not have expectations. Instead, I expect more and more people will come to question the wisdom of acquiescing to quasi-martial law. I expect those numbers to grow, but not so great as a number as to have any real effect in forcing change and a return to a respect for civil liberties and general sanity. There will be more protests. Perhaps there will be riots and violence. I also expect whatever happens to be entirely too late. But even with that being said, a sizable portion of the population will continue to pat itself on the back for being good comrades and following all the rules. They will live their lives believing that staying at home and snitching on their neighbors who did not live in fear saved the world from a deadly virus. 
Most of them will remember our current time this way, but no doubt many of them will forget what the virus was called and barely remember anything more than a few blurry weeks at home before something happened and we all that we justifiably came to live the way we do. But it is because of this strange hope that I have written yet another article, despite believing the former would be my last. I hope that, even if we do not change course in the immediate future, that there will at least be a record of dissent and that not everyone agreed with throwing our rights to the wolves and giving our voices away to the sheep. Perhaps this registered dissent will be a seed for someone long in the distant future to become inspired and attempt to regain what generations currently inhabiting the earth tossed aside in fear and laziness. That is my hope, not my expectation. <sighs> He's got a video here, Alan Watt, cutting through the matrix uh, in this, and um, it, it's another video you may want to check out. Yeah, Rona, my my Rona. So I, I, I you know, uh, <laughs> I. Don't, I, I agree with uh, Tuberville here, Brandon Tuberville. Um, I, I've agreed with a lot of his articles throughout uh, the years, the recent years, you know, um, that I've been reading his stuff. And uh, yeah. I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get how people could just say, we're okay with this. We're fine with this. We think you're doing the right thing by putting us all on house arrest, locking us down, imprisoning us in our homes. Uh, and as Rome's was pointing out in the chat earlier, I love social distancing. I don't call it social distancing. I call it hermitus, hermit, 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 hermitude, hermitness, whatever. Uh, but, and that's my choice for me to do as I choose. It's not their choice to impose upon me. Uh, but but that's the way it goes. That's the way it is um, at, at this time. So hermitism. Thank you, Rome's. <laughs> hermitude I like hermitude <laughs> yeah. I, I know I know uh, but see you're a believer and I'm a, and I'm a denier you're a believer I'm a denier that, that's how this, this that's <laughs> you know I'll tell you what if I was going to get Corona, I would have got it, I would have got it from the taco shop. Uh, like I said, man, that, that place was just wide open. No, no, nothing, no. People no, weren't wearing any gloves or masks or anything. You walk right up to the guy sit, sitting there at the counter. If I was going to get Corona, I'd have got it from him. Mexican dude. <laughs> but I, and I ate his food that they prepared right there. So, uh, yeah, uh, it ain't going to happen. Um. Yeah. Oh, here you go saying that he's gonna get it tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> lockdown good, freedom bad. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna play some more music for you here. Uh, this first song is a song y'all know and love. It's the original. Enjoy. All right. I I, I got a gong that. Sorry. I got a gong net. <laughs> Sorry, Hans. Um, <laughs> that was horrible. Um, now I know you were you, you were you were saying bad things about Leonard Cohen and his uh, he was the writer of that song. Um, uh, but uh, Leonard's version is awesome, and and that one there, I I just don't <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> anyway that was uh sig sigrid sigrid covering leonard cohen's everybody knows there um for uh, hansel for hansel uh before that we had willie nelson for cowboy tech roll me up and smoke me when i die all right, I'll take a puff. Yeah, there. man. I'll take a puff, Willie. And we kicked it off with Queen, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, the original, which is awesome. I, there's no other way to describe that. Um, yeah? No, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was saying that Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, the original, is awesome. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is an amazing, an amazing song. Correct Amundo. Correct Abundmundo. Yes. <laughs> welcome, oh, Danes. Welcome, Danes. Yes, welcome to, to the, the Freakers Ball show. once again. Now you come in, of course, it's just towards the end there. Did you take a look oh, at uh, Did you take a look at um, at, at Donna's uh, uh, woodwork there? Uh, not just now. I didn't. I am right now. Oh wow! Oh cool. It is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Great. No, I have some, so those aren't really. Well, I know, but those are. Wooden. They don't really do much for me. I mean, uh, I are... see. Uh, I see them every day. So. Uh... <laughs> uh, those, but those My are, own. <laughs> but those. But those are are nicely done wooden titties. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very, lovely. Van Meter. It looks awesome. It's come along very good. It's cool. Thank you. For sharing that picture. Yeah. And uh yeah, you're working you're working good. Um Yeah. All right. Let's see, okay. Wait, okay, so Florida opened some of their beaches and now it's it's is crowded within twenty minutes despite the state recording fourteen, thirteen new COVID nineteen cases. So people want it on the beach, dude. They're like, we're going to the beach. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. though. Come on now. Put Use your common sense, people. Seriously. Yeah, use it. Use your common sense. If I've been exposed to it, okay, let's say I was supposedly, let's say I was exposed to it yesterday. Seriously, I'm supposed to, what, quarantine myself for 14 days, uh, even though I'm showing no symptoms whatsoever, apparently. not running a temperature. You know what, this whole, you can be have the symptoms and not show it and not know that you're carrying it, is bullshit. Yeah. All right? It's bullshit. Think about it, okay? When you get a cold, <laughs> you're contagious once you, your nose starts ripping. All right? Yeah. And then for only like seven days, maybe. All right? Right. You're, and maybe less than that. You guys, we're not... You, 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 people are not thinking. You you are not a carrier unknowingly, okay? And that's got people scared. People are thinking that because they told us that. They have said, you could... Have the symptom or have it and not and not have any symptoms and be a carrier or a spreader of this. Right. You know what? That's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's same. It, it's just, if that's the case, it's just like with any cold. You wash your hands if you blow your nose or whatever. You don't. You, you cover your no your sneezes. It's just common sense stuff, people. That I was doing before this shit. Right. I mean. A fever is a body's way of fighting infection, by the way. The only time you really have to worry about a fever is when, when it gets to the 102 range, 101. Yeah. That's when you really have to worry about it as a human being. Sure. But other than before it gets to that point, if you have a fever, that's because your body is fighting whatever infection or disease you have in your body at that time. Absolutely. People don't, they're like, oh, a fever's a bad thing. You know, and so people, like, their yeah. kid will get a fever. The first thing they do is give it some medicine and take the fever down. It's like, why would you do that? Right. That fever's there to help your kid fight the, th the thing that's making him sick or whatever. Yeah. You know? It's like, people are waking out. All common sense has gone out the window for a lot of people. During this thing. I'm just saying. All common sense is gone. Like if there was any left. For somebody. It's gone now. Okay. Yeah. I mean. People. people. Think about it. We didn't wear masks before this. Okay. 
Oh, but this is worse than any other thing we've ever seen. You know what? Bullshit. 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 Right. It's a virus. There could. It's. It's been proven that they are contributing. They're be, the doctors are being told to say COVID related or co- causes COVID, even if it's not. Right. So what does that tell you? They're lying scumbags. That's what it tells me. Okay, and the other thing is, all you people that thought they were lying before this, and now all of a sudden you think they're telling the truth? Really? <laughs> exactly. Really? This, you think they're telling the truth about? Yeah. After lying all this time to your face blatantly, and you were well aware of it, now all of a sudden you're fucking, oh no, this is a real thing. Yeah. They're not lying. This time. Really? It's Think magic. about how dumb that sounds. It's magic. They're all of a sudden, oh yeah, we're going to tell the truth now. Right. Uh, no, that's not what they do. Like Grim said, we talked about it tonight. The lockstep thing. Yeah. That's been going on since before 2010. Well, it was the, the report was put out in 2010, so you but know But they that... were working on it before that. Oh, yeah, well, long before that. Yeah. Yeah, so... Ever since nine one one, basically. Oh, before that too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. Codex Elementarius, the UN thing, the food program. Right. That was going into place in the eighties. Right. Okay. This shit's been going on for a while. This has been a build up, and we've yeah, been talking I, I, about this on this show for eleven fucking years. When when did Agenda Twenty One come out? That that was. That was what. Ninety two or something. Twenty years ago. Ninety two or something. Yeah. Over twenty years old. Well, well over, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so um, yeah. Don't worry about all this Corona stuff. Here, this yeah. is this is important news that that may may need may may affect everything. Okay. Sputniknews.com. dot <laughs> com. Okay. Mysterious blue lights seen in the sky across the world. Oh, really? Yeah. It says, usually bright lights are produced by flashlights or near nightclubs, but this explanation seems untenable. Due to the corona pandemic that had <laughs> confined most of the population within four walls and closed all public places, social media users have been engaged in heated debates over mysterious blue lights that were spotted in different places across the world, including Australia, Spain, and in the, and the U.S., the debates began after a YouTube user, uh, some name I can't pronounce, uh, posted footage of strange blue lights in the sky in New York. The video quickly was quickly shared online with netizens, saying that they saw the same eerie blue uh, spot in the sky in other U.S. states, Spain, Britain, and Australia. A, net- a netizen from the Netherlands posted a photo of the sighting, and they wrote the caption, in the context of weird, we also have this, blue lights in the sky. Users argued over the origin of these enigmatic lights. Some of them claimed they appeared naturally as a result of piezoelectric effect. One user wrote, if large slabs of quartz crystal in the Earth's uh, Earth's crust compress at a specific angle, it causes large electric fields to generate a local equivalent of an aurora in the sky above. But wait, they were seen all around the world. Others contended that the government or Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, were testing new technology all around the world at the same time. Uh, still others thought that these mysterious lights are evidence of extraterrestrial life and and a sign of impending catastrophe the world the the world or our reality is shifting i can just feel it i think there's some sort of hidden battle going on and it's being noticed by many now locusts in africa like never before a plague lights in the sky sky quakes (laughs) <laughs> many UFO sightings, an asteroid coming close, lots of people reporting awakenings and a shift in the energy, wrote one user. So, 
Yeah. Blue lights, mysterious blue lights in the sky. Ooh, All right. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> All right, this next one I just kind of give you for, uh, well, you take it for what you were, what it's worth. It's on Reason.com, um, mm-hmm. and it's from cholera riots to the coronavirus revolts. The more punitive the approach to public health, the fiercer the backlash. We can only hope. So a pandemic swept through Europe in 1831. A riot broke out in Konigsberg. Uh, groups of people who did not agree with the cholera, cholera regulations assembled on July 28th for the funeral of a journeyman carpenter, the Prussian Star Gazette reported. After refusing a request to disperse, the dissenters invaded the police building and threw files and papers into the street. The military file, uh, fired on the crowd and eight people were killed. The newspaper attributed the revolt to a general misunderstanding of the interpretation of measures against the cholera. (sighs) Now we're here. Now we have what we have now. This is what they did. This is what they did in 1831. Right. They weren't happy with all of this nonsense. And so they revolted. And now we've got this nasty nonsense going on. This corona suck my bona. Um, (laughs) 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 But but either way, and and it's not just uh, in Europe. It's it's all, all over, all over the world. And it's far more tyrannical than what happened back there in 1831. Uh, they're they're doing far more evil things now, and they're not. Oh plan- yeah. And they are not. The technology plan- has improved. They are not planning on letting them go. Uh, when, they don't when, want to. No, they don't. They won't. They, they, no. Nope. Uh, unless unless they are forced to. And the so only- we need to decide. People need to decide. What are you going to do? Are right. you going to comply? Just go with it. Are you going to fucking not go with it? Let's hope for the latter. That's the uh, choices you have at this point. Pretty Yay? much. Yes, I'm going to comply. No, I'm not. Yeah, exactly. Decide. This is it. The time to draw the line of sand if you haven't yet. Uh, yeah. This is it. Uh, you know, the only thing they can go further from this is that they just start killing people. Right, going on the streets and killing you for not wearing a mask or not getting the vaccine. Right, and then once they start killing people, I think you'll see the uprising. Um, yeah, and and they're getting close to it. I I mean, they are. They're, they're already fighting people for not wearing masks. They're fighting people for not social distancing. They're doing that right now as we speak. They're using drones to tell uh, people, if you, if, remind people to social distance. Have you so seen? Re- there's cameras on those drones, by the way, people. Have you seen some of the stuff they're uh, doing? Have you seen uh, some of the stuff they're doing in India? No, I mean, some of it I did early. Yeah, a couple of years they ago. They are just beating people for being on the street. Yeah, they were doing that. They've been doing that since this thing started a month ago. Yeah, they're, they're beating people. They got these big old whip cane, whip cane things. Yeah, they're just whacking the shit out of them with these things, and um, it's yeah. ridiculous. And, and it's that way in a lot of places too. Uh, yeah, in, in Dubai, you do not want to go on the street if if you're in Dubai. Just forget it. They will kill you there. Um, yep. Uh, and places across Europe and, and here in the States, it's, it's getting very close to that. And, and so, um, hey, it's coming down to whatever it comes down to, man. The and, homeless are still there. They're still around. Like here in Eau Claire, they put the homeless in the ice arena so they could practice social distancing. I mean, you know, that's because the ice arena is not being used for anything anyway. There's no ice. They just right. take the ice out. And as Cirque, point, as Cirque points out, all those starving poor in India, they got no, there's no government bailouts for them. They got, they got, no, no. They got no way of getting food. They're, they're no. all, these people are going to starve to death. Yeah. Um, and, and people here in the States even are going to starve to death. Yeah. Because, yep. I mean, those bread lines, or whatever you want to call they them. They run out of food. There's yeah. a million cars, you know, they run out. Yep. So. You're going to get there early. All right. We, we got we to do our last set here. So uh, right. we'll, we'll we'll be back after these and uh, yep. say whatever we say.
Alrighty. I think this first one is a cowboy tech or cowboy tech request. Anyway, I'm not sure. Might be. Oh no, no, it might be JJ or Benoit. Maybe Benoit. Benoit posted this. I think. Okay, it's called "We're All Gonna Die Someday." We are. <laughs> yeah, we are. Black Betty, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> that's Stoner yeah. Train. Stoner Train doing Black Betty there. Yeah. Oh, that's great stuff. So, uh, before that, Haley. Ah, oh, Haley. Uh, Haley, Ryan, <laughs> uh, Haley Reinhardt covering I Can't Find My Way Home. That was uh, awesome. Yeah. Before that, 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 before that was <laughs> Rare Earth, I Just Want to Celebrate. And, and uh, that song, I requested it earlier this week, but it was mm-hmm. already requested three years ago by Cowboy Tech. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we'd get to your song eventually. Uh, <laughs> and we kicked it off with uh, Kate. Casey Chambers uh, for Benoit. Hey man, she's a uh, she's a nice looking gal. She's got a good voice. I don't know about yeah, all that. She's a cutie. I don't know about all that country stuff, but you know, whatever. Um. <laughs> she does all this stuff besides country too. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, that's that's cool. That's cool. Um, I, I I did enjoy it for a country song. Um, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All there right. was a fiddle in there. I mean, oh, you know. That's some serious, serious country, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, that's it. We're, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, tomorrow you got yep. the dark, dark Table at 2 with Flash and who knows whoever else. His, his <laughs> co-hostage, maybe. If he co-hostage. Gets, if he can get one. And uh, I'll be on Sunday. No co-hostage. No need for one. Uh, no. The blues at noon there, uh, right right here on RLM Radio, followed up by Hey, let's see behind the woodshed, opening up the big old can of whoop ass. Uh, check the schedule on com for all the rest of the shows throughout the week. If you want to do a show, let me know and I'll get you set up and yeah, man. Kick, it, kick it it right here on RLM Radio. Hey, what better time to, you know, broaden your horizon? Freaking A right. <laughs> you know, even if it's just for an hour, and seriously, once you start doing a show, yeah, an hour is like it feels like fifteen minutes. I oh, swear to God, it's like, I'm not lying to you though. This is free, this is like free, our show, yeah, it feels like an hour. Yeah, so a three-hour show it comes out to an hour in yeah. uh, subjective time. <laughs> yeah, it, it's crazy. It's All hard, right, but, uh, have a good weekend and a good yeah, week, everyone, and primarily. Not for any reason other than just common sense. Stay yeah. away from people. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Peace.